New Year, new skin people, and we're going to be starting off by using the Cosrx Pure Fit Seeker Creamy Foam Cleanser, which is a very dense and creamy, luxurious type of cleanser which you add a little bit of water to and then you get this great amount of foam remember a little bit goes a really really long way it's non-drying which is what i love about this it contains cosrx's patented sika 7 complex which contains seven types of centella asiatica derived ingredients for soothing the skin so that's the reason why i tend to like to use this almost every single day especially after using acids it really kind of soothes my slightly irritated skin next up we've got the skin 1004 madagascar centella toning toner it's like a mild exfoliating toner that's quite good actually it contains pha it's great for sensitive skin it contains 84 percent centella asiatica extract for soothing and moisturizing niacinamide for brightening and pore care adenosine for anti-aging as well as hyaluronic acid it's a very very mild toner like i've already said and all you need to do is pat it in and wait for it to absorb within a couple of seconds Next up, I'm going to be using the I'm Sorry For My Skin Brightening Hydrogel Eye Patches. They're brightening and anti-aging hydrogel eye patches, which I'm going to apply to my under eye area first off to leave to sit for a little while. And after that, as it does its thing, I'm using a Kombucha Gaiol Biome Mist by Alicia Roy. It's a very fine mist, which contains 86% kombucha extract. And it absorbs really, really nicely in the skin. It's great for hydration as well as amino acids. Then I'm going to peel these off. Off. basically they contain collagen for anti-aging fruit extracts niacinamide for brightening etc and then you just pat down the actual essence itself and it absorbs within a couple of seconds leaving your under eye area looking bright and awake favorite part of my video is this our unique black snail edition skincare set which contains a serum as well as a cream um, I really love snail anything snail mucin-y I'm a big fan of so the first thing I'm going to be using is the serum which has got that slightly kind of snotty texture but it blends like water into the skin it's non-sticky absorbs fast it's a great multi-purpose serum it's for anti-aging because it contains 70% black snail extract and it helps skin elasticity as well as repairing niacinamide and adenosine scene for brightening as well as wrinkle care and again I love the fact that it absorbs so fast that I can use it as part of my morning skincare routine it's not sticky at all and bear in mind how much I applied as well you don't need to go overboard at all as it spreads really thinly and evenly all over the face leaving a nice finish then I follow it in with the black snail restore cream which is a lightweight and slightly stringy kind of snotty textured absorb fast absorbing non-sticky cream contains 58% black snail extra for anti-aging and repairing centella asiatica leaf water and extract for soothing the skin it's an amazing moisturizer again which i use um, in the morning right after using that serum as part of my everyday skincare routine as you can see it absorbs really really nicely it's got that lovely soft kind of feel it doesn't feel heavy underneath makeup or anything like that a little bit goes a really really long way and it just feels great on the skin and I just love the fact that my skin is slowly repairing itself and I'll explain why later on in the video why it needs to repair itself for the new year Final step in the morning, obviously, is some sunscreen. This is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Natural Sunscreen. It's a cream lotion type of texture, but you do need to spend a lot of time blending this in. That's the only thing I would say. I've noticed that a lot with more mattifying kind of sunscreens because they're not as liquidy, takes a bit of time. So obviously I do look a little bit pale to begin with, but eventually it does blending. It's a very hydrating, soft, matte kind of sunscreen. Now that this is all done, we're going to be doing the makeup, you guys, because I did actually have to go out after filming this video. So we're going to start off with the Born This Way Matte Foundation by Too Faced in the shade Golden Beige. I'm just going to be buffing this in lightly. Yes, it has become dark as I was filming this video. Don't forget, it's January, you guys. It's dark by like 3.30 in the afternoon. I do love this foundation because it is a nice matte foundation. I generally tend to prefer kind of more matte looks. So just a nice light coverage of this and then I'm going in with my Maybelline Express Brow Pencil. My eyebrows are a bit of a state at the moment so I didn't actually do too much to them. I just literally lightly pencil them in. To be fair this is actually how I just do my eyebrows every day nowadays. I just lightly fill in the areas, the gaps that need filling in, any areas that got foundation over it and just lightly run the pencil over it. I don't press too hard either. 
and now you can see the difference between a brow that is done and one that is not and here are both that are done now let's move on to the eye primer this is the Fenty primer you know eyebrow eyebrow primer eye shadow primers you're not actually supposed to apply that much you guys just a little bit like I did just enough to cover your eyes lightly not heavily you don't need to put too much we're going to be using the Anastasia concealer the brand new concealer which I recently got um, when it was Black Friday again I don't even apply that much concealer what you tend to see on Instagram videos and that sort of thing is overkill this is all you need to literally just cover up those dark under eye circles then I'm setting it with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake uh, setting powder just leaving it on for a couple of minutes then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting powder my airbrush powder which I use all the time just to set my foundation it smooths everything out gets rid of any stickiness um, any leftover residue of makeup that hasn't dried as yet keeps my face looking flawless and fresh throughout the day that's why you can see that that powder is just about finished before I move the uh, powder under the eyes and just get rid of it I'm also just rubbing this over my eyes too. Now the eyeshadow I'm going to be using is a new one that you guys haven't seen me that I bought recently. It's from Too Faced. It's their Teddy Bear palette. First off, I'm going to start off with the shade Bear It All just to kind of smooth out my eyes, neutralize the shade, that sort of thing. I tend to do that quite a lot. I'm using the Huda Beauty, um, the Glow palette. I can't remember what it's called. It's the light one, basically. Just the pink shade to just highlight my brow bone area and then I'm going to be using the shade called the snuggle is real just as a transitional shade going backwards and forwards just to give my eyes a little bit of depth and then for a little bit of color I'm going in with the pinky shade called embarrassed just because I'm obviously wearing pink but I just didn't want it to be too too much so it blends nicely with the brown then the shimmery shade that I'm using is called press pause now I do have to say that, say that the uh, foil shadows in this, you do have to build them up quite a bit. They're not as intense as, for example, Huda Beauty eyeshadows or even other Too Faced ones. So you can see I'm layering it upon layering it just so that I can get the colour to show up the way that I want it to. I want it to be subtle, but I still want it to be visible, right? So that's obviously what I had to do. Next shade I'm using I think is called Fuzzy Wuzzy, just as the lower lash line shade, just to smoke it out a little bit, but not too much. I wear contact lenses, I always get powder in my eyes, you guys. Then I'm using that same Huda Beauty shade just to place it on my tear duct, just to brighten up and open up my eyes. I did my eyeliner off camera, you guys. Next up is Sasha Eyelashes by Huda Beauty, my favourite eyelashes, which I wear all the time, just because they're huge, spiky, and just look absolutely great look at that the eyes are done they look stunning lovely subtle pretty and fresh next we're moving on to Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade saddle which you guys know that I use all the time to contour my cheekbones as well as my nose as well as slightly around the temples not too much to be honest it's more just for color I kind of put it up there rather than the need to make my tiny forehead even tinier and then I'm contouring my nose like you guys can see again I concentrate the color more towards the bottom than the top because I don't want to have a nice long nose I just want it to look more streamlined you know next up we're using Huda Beauty's glowish uh, cheeky vegan blush in the shade healthy peach I didn't want to wear pink on the cheeks so I kind of went with a nice peachy color to kind of counteract that using that same highlighting palette I mixed all the shades together and then I just basically have highlighted my cheekbones for a nice goldeny fresh look as well as my nose where I tend to do it as well as my cupid's bow just to make my lips look even more fuller than they already are then I'm using the Huda Beauty lip contour 2.0 in the shade deep rose I've got lip balm on my lips which is what I tend to do when I wear lip liner anyway just because creamy lip liners such as this kind of glide across the lips a lot more easily when I mush my lips together just so that everything is blended out and there's no harsh lines and then I'm using the shade Sweet Cheeks again by Huda Beauty it's one of the cream lipsticks that came out in 2021 just to blend it all together so that it looks nice and cute and fresh and pretty and that's basically it that's the look I think it looks nice and fresh for the new year it's not too over the top not too overdone and I just think it personally looks great and it would suit everybody. And then I went out for about five, six hours and did my thing and then I came home afterwards, washed all my makeup off and now we are going to be starting in with me now using toner to do my nighttime skincare routine just so that you guys can see what I do. So after washing my face, you can see I look pale again. God, look, I need a tan, you guys, man, seriously. I'm using the new Perito Centella and Unscented Toner. You guys have seen me use this before. It's a little bit heavy in texture, but it absorbs very, very fast. 
It contains Centella Asiatica extract to strengthen and soothe the skin's barrier, as well as various strengthening humectants such as panthenol, madacassicide, to retain moisture into the skin. It's oil-free, alcohol-free. I use this all the time, especially when my skin is sensitized, which it actually is at the moment. That's the reason why I'm using something so mild. And the reason why it is sensitized at the moment and a little bit on the delicate side is because of the product that I'm going to be showing with you after this. I'm going to be using a very, very strong, or I have been for the past month, a very, very strong essence. It's the Isn't Tree Clear Skin 8% AHA Essence. It's very, very strong, it contains a very high amount of AHA. It contains 4% glycolic acid, 4% lactic acid. And this is very, very runny in texture. First off, you can see it's like water. Make sure you don't apply it near your eyes, anywhere near your eyes, otherwise your eye area will start to peel because that's what happened to me within the first week of using it. So I learned my lesson, you guys. These both gently lift off dead skin cells. Basically, it peels off dead skin cells for new, fresh, smooth skin. The glycolic acid is there to improve collagen production as well as clearing away dead skin for more plumper kind of skin and then fading brown spots, whereas lactic acid is there for hydration. Also contains glycerin, centella, and hyaluronic acid for soothing the skin. You can see my skin is a little bit red around the nose, and that's because of this product. So my skin is slowly repairing itself, which is why I'm also using this product here, which is the Dialba White Truffle Burst Spray Serum. This is a fine mist. You've got to shake it to combine the upper layer of oil with the lower oil, uh, water underneath and it absorbs very very fast it's not heavy it's there to improve fine lines wrinkles brighten the skin deliver nourishing nutrients to the skin and uh, the white truffle is there to promote and renew and brighten your skin and then you've got seed extracts and various other things to calm and moisturize the skin next up is the very famous abib mild acidic ph sheet masks the heat heart leaf fit ones these are really popular like i said um, they're made from bamboo fabric to help improve skin elasticity and to deliver ingredients to the skin better it's not flimsy and it doesn't rip contains a lot of product you guys a lot of product with within here so you've got to make sure that you tip it all out afterwards and apply it to your arms legs wherever contains 88 percent of hertunia cordata extract to remove excess sebum soothe the skin centella asiatica extract as well it's there to fight acne soothe inflammation improve cell turnover licorice extract for soothing the skin calming the skin brightening the skin hyperpigmentation that sort of thing and then after about 10 15 minutes you can happily remove it off your face and any remaining essence which will be there will very very slowly absorb and it won't actually take as long as you think because it's actually quite lightweight but it's absolutely great to use after using that acid essence there's a reason why i use the acid essence first is because it, it actually makes all these other products absorb into the skin a lot better makes their efficacy a lot better I'm using the youth lasting real eye cream by ahc a lightweight gel type texture is non-sticky and absorbs fast it's for brightening and for wrinkle care i use this every single night and i use this in the daytime as well it's mild enough to do so and now for moisturizer, now that everything has absorbed into the skin, I'm using the Seurus Enriched by Nature Cream. It's slightly rich and buttery in texture, which is why it's better to use at nighttime. But it's easy to blend in. It leaves a slight residue, again, which is why it's better to use at night. Contains 28% green tea leaf water for soothing the skin. Shea butter for hydration. Vitamins A, D, E and F for soothing the skin. Ceramide for strengthening the skin. It's very hydrating, nourishing and reparative, which is perfect to use for somebody who's currently got peeling skin because of the fact that they are using a very strong acid essence like you saw earlier and then the last step is the Laneige Sika sleeping mask very different to the one that you guys are used to seeing this has got more of a whipped texture and it's kind of white in color as well it's very lightweight and cooling feels slight residue on the skin which is why obviously it's a sleeping mask it's not as lightweight as the original one that you guys are used to seeing the blue one this is very calming and reparative it's actually made for dry damaged and irritated skin which is why i'm using it because my skin is repairing itself as it peels from all the skin underneath and this is a great product that nourishes and strengthens and regenerates the skin and it also contains squalene panthenol shea butter glycerin to hydrate your skin great to use before you go to bed at night and that's it you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe and good night to you all love you lots bye